So, I want to try and get together and have a quick chat about World of War and this uh, second compendium that's coming out. And uh, I just noticed how bright and shiny my t-shirt is. It's kind of bright and shiny. I just got it in the mail today. It's uh, the Australia and it's uh, the Texas flag. So it's a uh, Aussies in Texas thing. I found it online. I thought it's kind of cool. Uh, this is the, the, I guess it's the final print copy of the, of the game. I apologize for the video quality, but I'm not sure what's going on with my camera. So I'm going to try and keep this fairly brief. If you're familiar with the World of War series, you know that they came out with a compendium uh, originally with all of the scenarios and some other articles that was in black and white uh, from all of the Line of Fire magazine. So they kind of collated everything together and went through that exercise of uh, putting everything in one little uh, magazine for you in a not terribly well bound uh, uh, format uh, and it came with all the counters from all the line of fire magazines as well and the maps and all that sort of stuff same deal here uh, unfortunately i don't have the maps that it, uh, will come with or the counters yet but they they sent me a i guess kind of a they sent me a copy to have a look at and it's all in uh, full full color uh, just like the, the first compendium was that I showed you a couple of weeks ago when all the other new Line of Fire magazines are, and all the reprints are in color as well. Uh, now what is new, net new in here is there's an, a full extended timeline so we can know it's uh, one, two, three, four, four and a half pages of the timeline of what's going on in the World of War universe all the wacky thing, whoa, all the wacky things and all of the supernatural things uh, with uh, mainly hints about that, not direct detail. Which is good if you want to stay in who's fighting who and why and you can then have lots of arguments online about uh, how unrealistic uh, that is or not, as the case may be. Now, I've had conversations with some people before about it and yes, some things are kind of goofy get over it, you either like the game or you don't, the backstory is the backstory, it is what it is, it's just as conceivable or inconceivable as anything that we're seeing in the world right now, as far as I can say, except for the vampires. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> there's a really cool article in here, so there's some additional things in here that I think are cool. There's obviously some battle reports which are really nice, and then there's, uh, uh, Jeff Schulte wrote a article on how to deal with uh, building larger battles. So if you've ever played some of these tactical level games and you think, well, wouldn't it be cool to kind of make a massive uh, situation and have two or three battalions or four or five or six battalions all going at it, uh, he's got some kind of rules and guidelines on how to do that. And I've seen some of the AARs he's posted on uh, Content World. Really cool stuff. Well worth looking at. And so he tries to build more, uh, perhaps a more realistic 1985 style uh, OOBs and battle uh, situations and so if you track him down and follow him on Content World, he's got a blog there, uh, you can perhaps learn a little more about that. There's an article in here to kind of get the juices flowing. Uh, uh, we'll skip the, you know, there's really nice uh, full color battle reports in here uh, from all the different uh, systems and uh, dust systems, different uh, modules and things like that. And in the actual sets of scenarios, there's uh, let me hold this up here for you. There's several uh, mini uh, modules, and there's a new one that's that's just in here. Uh, it's called Arden again, and it uh, leans on uh, various different modules. So you're going to need most of the uh, bits and pieces from the different modules, but. Uh, really interesting little uh, revisit of uh, you know, the Ardennes and how important that may or may not be in World War Three. So some cool, cool scenarios there. Um, there's the Vietnam module. I mean, really, who wants to see T-62 try and fire? I haven't even, I haven't even looked. I looked at the T-62 counters in the Vietnam era. Not the Vietnam era. <coughs> the weapons platforms in 85 for the Vietnam era well, army, I mean, they suck, right? It, the infantry's infantry, that's fine, but uh, no one wants to, I don't want to roll one 
one d six with a, on a six to try and hit, and then have someone try and save on one d six. It's just it, it may as well be nations of war, right? Uh, the oil, it's, this is a great series of scenarios. There's three or four scenarios here. It's the oil stupid. That's uh, really cool. Anyway, I wanted to give so that all these uh, scenarios here, very cool stuff. I'd love to be able to say it's awesome, completely awesome. Wow, now my video is really going crazy. So I'm going to just wrap this up. I'd love to be able to say it's really awesome, but it's just very, very good uh, because I haven't seen the counters and I haven't seen the maps, and I don't know how big the logo is gonna be on those maps. I mean, they're, they're kinda too big. The last I saw, the, those logos were too big, I think. You don't need advertising on the maps. You just need a number. Um, hopefully the counters will be great. I'm a little concerned that I'm not seeing counters. I think they're probably still trying to get their counter printing thing organized, whatever's happening, and I really, when I saw the shipping notification, I was hoping it was going to be an early release of Heroes of the Pacific. So I don't know where that is yet. Uh, I think there's still, you know, we're not seeing enough products coming out of lock and load yet. Hopefully we're going to see a deluge of things at some point in the near future. And I hope that uh, they start focusing on producing and shipping and less on, um, while well, this is all fantastic, you know, less on this stuff. This is great, but it's not great unless we've got maps and counters. So let's see what happens soon. Uh, hopefully we'll hear more from them. I know I told you I was gonna do an interview with uh, the new owner, David Heath. I haven't done it yet. I literally haven't had time to send him the questions. And I know he's busy too. And I kind of actually don't want to bother them right now. I, 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 I want him to go, go ship me a game that I've pre-ordered. Well, let me see the counters and then let's talk. Uh, I'm hope, hopefully we can do that real soon. So uh, all the best. If you're interested in getting into World of War and you've already got the uh, first compendium, I'd encourage you to go order this because I think it'll be great. Hopefully the counters and the maps will be great too. I've seen copies of the maps that are printed. Uh, you've, we, for the line of 515, they're fantastic. Um, but I haven't seen the counters yet, so I can't give it a you know hearty thumbs up or anything. I can give it a, a uh, enthusiastic, sounds like it'll be great, thumbs up. Does that make sense? One hour later.